Welcome back to Trawler Tours. We've shown you our 1980s Defever. We've shown you two 1980s Californians. We've shown you a 1980s CHB and a 1980s Davis Trawler. But guess what? Today, we get to show you something new. This is a 2019 Beneteau Swift Trawler, and we can't wait to look inside. Come on, let's go. And a fun fact is this was one of our dream boats when we went to a boat show maybe five years ago. We climbed upon a Swift Trawler and we said, we need to own one of these. It's gonna be fun. Hey y'all, welcome to the Sea All Life. I'm Andrea, this is Tom, and we have two pups. We're a couple of Texas transplants living the empty nest life to the fullest. For us, that's living part-time on our 44-foot Defever trawler in San Diego. Our hope is that as you join us on our dreams and adventures, we'll inspire you to discover your own. Yeah, we've seen all the old trawlers, and today we're super excited to show you a new trawler. And this is Greg, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about this beautiful boat. First of all, what's the name? Uh, the name is Hawaiian Soul, which is meaningful to me. My family, we've, we've gone to Hawaii, and so my children have a lot of memories of Hawaii. When I found this boat for sale, it really struck me because mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I consider myself a Hawaiian Soul because I'm from California. I love that. Um, it's a 2019 Swift Trawler, um, Beneteau, Swift Trawler 44, made by Beneteau. Love the boat. It, uh, I found it for sale. It was um, a fortuitous find in that I went out to the Fort Lauderdale boat show with a friend who really? was, they were looking for a boat. And, Just recently. Uh, in, yes, that's right, late October. Yeah. And um, all of our friends were asking my wife, is Greg gonna wanna come back and buy a boat? And she said, you wanna buy a boat? And I said, no, honey, it's not about <laughs> buying a boat. But I put my name in with different brokers about different boats, including the Swift Trawler. And Janelle and I had a conversation. She said, are you gonna buy a boat? And I said, I'm not gonna buy a boat. <laughs> Famous last words. Famous last words. And then the broker called me and said, there's the used 2019 that has low hours on the engine. Do you want to take a look at it? And so I looked at it and I really liked it. And so I said to Janelle, and I said, uh, a boat broker called me. And she said, didn't we just have a conversation <laughs> about us not buying a boat? But she's uh, she's wonderful. And, and, uh, and so next thing you know, we've, we're proud of our of, of Swift Trawler 44. And it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. Thank you. So is this the first boat you've ever owned? Um, I have always been a sailboat uh, okay. person. I've, I've been on and around sailboats um, since I, for 30 years. And, and I always thought I'd buy a sailboat. I came to the realization that um, my family, even though I loved sailing, my family did not love sailing. I took the opportunity when it presented itself. And we liked it here because it's in downtown San Diego at the Marriott Marina so that we can um, use it as a downtown condo. We can go to Padre yep. Games, we can go to restaurants, and I can work effectively from here, so it's a nice combination. It is, you know, I've, we've done all those things. We've been in this marina for almost six years. It's definitely like having a downtown condo on the water for a fraction of the price. That's why we're here. It's a beautiful marina, wonderful people. You can see the concerts. Mm -hmm. Our dock actually is like in front of the amphitheater, but you can easily hop down there and check out some great shows. Great so spot. welcome, welcome to the uh, to the marina. Thank you, we're happy to be here. Okay, let's get this tour started, Greg. Happy to do so. Thank All you right. so much. So welcome to the salon. This is roomy enough for us to be able to entertain four to six people comfortably. One of the things we really enjoy is having friends and sitting on the back, looking out over the harbor. We'll, we'll do that in a moment. We have a dog, so we're, it's very important to us that the dog enjoy the boat, and dog's dog's important part of our family. What kind of dog? Uh, a multi-poodle, a multi-poodle. So love this. We're also wine drinkers. We're one of the people who like red wine and we drink red wine on our boats. So some people find that scandalous, but that's, that's who we are. Um, we love the color. There's several different colors. We didn't have a choice because this was what the boat was, but we find it very warm, very appealing. We like the color of this as well. This folds out to a sofa bed uh, and there's can be curtained off for a third a berth. We'll show you the other two berths. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Like where the salon not only made into a bed, but had privacy. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good system. Um, if you come forward to our little kitchen, to our little galley, one of the things, we have four drawers, which were very good, and we are have done our best to maximize the space with 
toaster with coffee machine that are exactly the size for the um, uh, for the drawer. So we spend a lot of time uh, trying to figure that out. Uh, we have snacks for snack people, so we put that in our galley for our guests or for me since I'm here most of the time. Um, we have a little lifeguard vest for our dog because if she falls in, she's not a very good swimmer. That's important. That is important. Keep in mind, I've been a sailboat guy my whole life. I'm still learning how all this stuff works. So you'll have to forgive me for that. I do most of my uh, captaining right here. I love the side access so I can single hand everything. I've set up all of my lines so that I can leave them on the dock with the exception of the, uh, the bow lines. This way, my guests, my wife, they don't have to be involved if they don't wish to be, but it's, it's a setup that is- You're a smart guy. <laughs> uh, you're very kind. I have a backup radio in case something happens with the, the primary. We've acquired safety systems. Uh, we have a, a raft, we have an e -perb. we have things because we just want to go across to Catalina. And even though it's a well-traveled cha well channel, we just want to make sure that if anything goes awry, mm -hmm. we can handle it, so. That's cool. It's my lower helm. I love the look of this boat. It's just so sleek. It's so Veneto, right? <laughs> they did a very nice job. And I, one thing I love about trawlers are the side door. You know, a lot of people we know have boats that um, you're in a cave mm -hmm. and you don't have windows and doors. So that was very, one of the first things I fell in love with on this boat when I saw bright. it. Very bright. It's very bright in here. I like that. So we have two staterooms. Um, I had mentioned that this is a 2019, which had low hours. Um, one of the things that I didn't mention was through my good fortune, I found out who the seller was and a very successful executive in San Diego who spent a lot of money upgrading the boat. And as an example, our betting here is spent a lot of money on the betting. Dude, and that's then, nice. Yes, I never would have spent the money on the betting, but I'm happy to have been the beneficiary. Um, so this is yacht bedding very, and very comfortable mattress, very comfortable linens. Um, we have a day head, we have the, the main cabin bed. Um, I, my wife has that one because I really want her to like this boat. So, uh, so we give her her own space and my son and I share the day head. Uh, and then we very have- Very nice. Thank you so much. Uh, we have the second berth, which has a washer dryer already um, installed. That's nice. It is. People tell me it will frustrate me. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. We'll see what the experience is. I bought the special detergent that they sell, <laughs> and I've read the instructions and read YouTube videos and or watched YouTube videos, but I have no idea if I'll ever actually use it. <laughs> so it's it's a wonderful second cabin to go with our main cabin for our guests or our our. Um, our children. Awesome. So this is one of my favorite places on the boat because I mentioned we love wine, we have wonderful friends, and this is a great location. Um, and we have, we are waterfront. So we will come down here, we'll put out a cheese plate, uh, we'll have glasses of wine, um, and this comfortably fits four people, and it's a great place to have a glass of wine before you go to dinner in, uh, in the guest room. I apologize for the clutter. We're working on putting up bumpers on the on the dock, so oh, these good. boxes will be gone in, a, in about a week. Always a little bit of work in progress, right? That's right. That's I right. love your floors. Um, really nice, and you have a nice big aft deck. It's really beautiful. Thanks very much. And you have you have a handrail for when seas get rough. Okay, so we're on the the ladder or whatever the right term would be to head up to the flybridge. Beneteau, if you're ever looking at this video, you guys need something on the side for a handrail as you're heading up because you have left hand here, you have a handrail up here, but you're missing one handrail. So we just created a little little system to give me something to hold on to while I head up. So that was clever. Like Thank you. <laughs> so now we're on the flybridge. We have a tender here. I understand some of the newer Beneteaus don't have uh, this system or they may not be having the system because this is, this is, as I understand it, a difficult system to utilize. It's underpowered uh, for the requirement. Um, having someone come in on, in a couple of days, um, Pacific Coast Rigging in San Diego is doing a great job for me. And they're gonna change out, they're gonna add more uh, blocks. Now you're, we're gonna change the topping lift also so that it is more sturdy. This is rated to about 120 kilograms. Uh, the dinghy weighs much less than that. We don't have a motor on it now, so we don't stress the system. But it's, you know, considering it's a very high quality boat, this is something where we would have liked to see Beneteau do something stronger. Um, we have a grill system up here. Uh, there's a refrigerator down below, which I haven't figured out how to work yet. 
Um, I have figured out how to work the barbecue. And then, although it's under covers, we have two um, two lounges and a table here for more cheese and crackers, more wine, and we can drive from up here as well. And it's noticeably quieter, quieter up here than it is in the salon. I've been able to get the boat to just under 25 miles per hour, 25 knots uh, from up here. I wow. So it, it, it's pretty quick. Um, it was flat flat seas, it was easy sailing, it was on the bay. Um, haven't tried to exceed that in the ocean or, or even touch that on the ocean. Um, when cruising in the bay, typically 10 to 12 is a very comfortable speed and um, it's a lot faster than a sailboat. It's a lot faster than my trawler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot faster than sea y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna head to the bow. Uh, one of the things that I like about this boat is the walkway is a little wider on, on the starboard side than on the port side. Just makes it a little bit easier to access. Interesting. I like that. And it's really, really pretty. I just love all this wood. Underneath here is a day bed so that people can lounge and, and, and on a nice sunny day. Uh, we have 225 feet of anchor chain. We marked it. I'm very proud of that. We painted it. The paint, I'm sure, is going to chip off because galvanized steel doesn't like paint, but that's all right. We'll it looks good for now. It'll, it'll, it'll last a season <laughs> or two. So. Really nice. I love that you have a day bed. That's Thank you. makes me a little jealous. Thank you for such a great tour. I really love this boat. I, like I said, we saw one of these at a boat show probably three or four years ago, and that's when I knew I wanted a trawler, or we both knew. I think actually Tom already knew he wanted a trawler, and that's when I knew I wanted a trawler. So do you think this will be your last boat? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's it's uh, right now. It's very encouraging that the family loves it, and we and we're really using it. And so, if that if that continues, then I we will quote unquote always have a boat. Um, this is a good size boat. I don't yes. know yet if I need a bigger boat. Hi. This is a lovely boat. Um, but people tell me that uh, that this won't be my last boat. So it I might don't not know. be. Well, you know, we find a lot of people get their first liveaboard kind of boat and you start to figure out what you really want and need and whether this boat has that. Like some people um, I know have had power boats that had or liveaboard boats that had a really large lower helm that just took up a huge amount of space. So then they went to a boat that didn't have a lower helm or just little things like that. People sort of figure out along the way and of course your boat you only had it long so I'm sure you're just still in the in the honeymoon phase with it but it is such a gorgeous bed I think it could be your last bed. Well thank you kindly I'm, I'm a very lucky man thank you so much check, well, check back in five years okay we'll do that and thanks again for joining us on the see all life and we'll see y'all soon thank you so much